Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl V Queen here and I'm back after a very long while today with a brand new video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from my usual videos. Today I will not be showing you how to use someone else's application. I will actually be showing you how to use an application that was developed by me. It's called TQ Transcriber. It's an application that you can use to transform your audio or video files into text. But before we get into it, please be sure to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, or to turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post a new video. Also note that the instrumentals have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so as I said, today we will be doing a demonstration of TQ Transcriber, TQ standing for VQuin. This application was developed by me using the Python programming language. So as I said, it's a pretty simple application. You'll be able to upload an audio or video file. It accepts most, if not all, audio or video file formats. Then you will be able to transcribe that audio or video file into text and then you can save it into a text format onto your computer. It's a pretty simple application but there are many different use cases for it. Whether you want the lyrics to a song, there is a TikTok video with a recipe that you want but you can't be bothered to write down the recipe, you can just run it through the transcriber. I've used it to get the script for advertisements before. Um, I don't know if you have the recording of a tutorial and you want the text version of it, you can run it through the transcriber as well. There's many different use cases for it. But you have to make sure that you have the audio or video file locally on your computer and you have to ensure that you have a connection to the internet. Also, I must note that this is not for you Mac users. This is only for Windows users and I am giving you the application totally free, right? So it's totally free for you to use. All you have to do is to visit my website vquin.com that is T-H-E-E Q-U-I-N-N dot com. The link will be down below in the description. In the navigation menu, which should be near the top of the screen, go to the apps page. So look for the apps link. Then under the heading that says TQ Transcriber, you click check out TQ Transcriber. Then under the heading that says download, there should be a download heading there. You input your email into the edit box and then click the button. I think it says get the download link. Yeah, that's what it says. And then the download link to download the application should be sent to your email. When sharing your friends, please be sure to share them the link to my webpage so that they can put in their email and get the download link there. This is crucial because when it comes to updates to the application and important notices about the application, I would love to be able to send the updates directly to your email. Once you download it, first read the license agreement that comes along with the application in the zip file. Then you can run the TQ transcriber setup.exe to install it. During installation, you can choose to create a desktop shortcut icon. Once installation completes, you should be good and ready, 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 ready to go. So let's get into the actual demonstration. TQ. Okay, so here I am and here I have my TQ transcriber open and ready to go. Now, once you just open TQ transcriber, you'll hear it have a little sound effect that says TQ, right? Yeah, so you'll hear that whenever you open it. No. Once you are in here, you're automatically focused on the upload audio file button. Upload audio file button focused. This is the button that you will use to actually upload an audio file, right? Now, with this interface, if you're using a screen reader, all you have to do is to tab to each element and you can use your enter key to activate the buttons. So let's tab to the next option. Transcribe button. Now, this is the option that you can use to actually transcribe the audio or video file once it has been uploaded. Next button. Save transcript button. This is the button that you will be using to save the transcription once a transcription has been done to your computer. Let's tab again. Close button. 
And this is the button that you can use to close the frame. It's the same thing if you were to click the X on the window or use Alt plus F4. Tab. Transcribe text colon. Edit read only multi-line blank. Now here is where the transcribed text will actually appear. So let's tap again. Upload audio file button. Awesome. Now before we actually do the demonstration of uploading an audio file, there are also some menu bars that you have access to in this application as well. So let me press my Alt key for persons using a screen reader. File sub menu Alt plus F. All right, so you have the file menu, and if I should write arrow, you also have the help sub menu Alt plus H. Help menu. Now let me left arrow back over to the file menu. File sub menu Alt plus F. And let's down arrow. Upload control plus UU. So you also have the upload option here in the menu as well. So other than using the button in the main window, you can also press your Alt key and come down here and press upload, enter on upload. Or you can also use the keyboard shortcut Control plus U from anywhere in the window to perform this action. Transcribe Control plus TT. Same thing for transcribe. So you can use Control plus T to transcribe. Or you can come up here and press Enter on it in the menu. Save Control plus SS. Same thing for save. Control plus S from anywhere in the window to save. Or you can click it here in the menu. Close Control plus XC. And the last one is close. So the close button, Control plus X, Alt plus F4, all of them will work. All right, let's escape from this. File sub menu Alt plus F. Let's go over to the help menu. Help sub menu Alt plus H. Down arrow. About A. All right, so about is the only option in here. So let me go ahead and press enter on it. About TQ transcriber dialogue, this transcriber app is a production of Chenille aka The Quinn. Email colon, thequinpublic at gmail.com website colon, thequin.com YouTube channel colon, www.youtube.com slash c slash thequin documentation colon, https colon slash slash thequin.com slash tq dash transcriber slash please note that this information has been copied to your clipboard. OK awesome. button. Awesome. So it gives you all the information about the application and it automatically copies it on your clipboard so you can go and paste it elsewhere. So you have the link to the documentation, my YouTube channel, all of that. You can easily go and copy it and paste it in your browser to be able to view that. All right. So let's press enter on OK. TQ transcriber. Upload audio file button. No, let's actually show you how this application works. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter on the upload audio file button to upload an audio file. Open audio file dialog file name colon. File name. All right, and it opens a regular open file dialog. So I'm going to go ahead and select a file to upload. Last week grouping expanded. Web video. Web gleam video. All right, so I have a video here, which is a quick one minute video of an ad. So I'm going to open it. Info dialog. Your file has been uploaded. Selected file colon. C colon backslash users backslash Chen backslash downloads backslash web gleam video dot mp4. OK button. All right. So it told me that my file has been uploaded and it tells me the path of the file that has been selected. So I press enter on OK. TQ transcriber. Upload audio file button. No, let's transcribe it. So I'm going to tap to the transcribe button. Transcribe button. All right. Then let's press enter on it. Info dialog. Please wait for the transcription to be complete. When it does, the text area will be updated with the transcribed text. You can then proceed to saving the file. OK button. All right, let's press end on OK. TQ transcriber. Transcribe button unavailable. And you hear a little waiting music playing while it's transcribing. So let's wait. Transcription complete. Transcribe text colon. Edit read only multi-line. Are you ready to dive into the exciting world of digital innovation? Yeah, of course. All right, so it's finished and it tells you when the transcription is complete and it puts your focus on the area with the transcribed text. If I should down arrow. Digital dreams come to we turn every analysis our universe of. There you go. So here we have the transcribed text. Now I can go ahead and actually save it. So instead of going to the button this time, let me use a keyboard shortcut. Control plus S. Save transcript dialog. All right, now let's choose somewhere to save it. I, last week, three, I, 
All right, it's already in my downloads folder, so let's go to file name. T file, save it. File name colon. All right, let's call it tutorial. T U T O R I L. And press enter to save. Info dialog transcript saved to C colon backslash users backslash Chen backslash downloads backslash tutorial dot text. OK button. Press enter. TQ transcriber. Transcribe text colon. Edit read only multi line blank. All right. So once you save the transcription, it clears the transcribed text area. So it's ready to do another transcription again. TQ. And that is practically it for the demonstration, guys. So this is my app, TQ Transcriber. It's pretty simple, but it's very, very useful.